and I look up to you. I think I love you very much, and I look up to you. I think as a society, in the world that we live in, we forget. We forget that we all actually look up to one another. That we see something in someone, and really it can spark something in ourselves if we choose if to see it, if we allow it to do so. I am on this earth to express myself and to make mistakes and to live this human experience to let others know that it's okay to do the same. It's okay to be yourself. Sitting down what you were told and then picking up a brand new way of living is bravery. And it's okay to admit that you are brave and that you are unique and that you are whatever you are. Just live your life completely you. I love you very much. Good morning. Coffee with the witch. Well, I received this comment on one of my um, videos that I had done some time ago. Um, you should talk more about how you got into Wiccan. Um, many years ago, Um, my, my life actually goes back and forth, back and forth uh, as I try to find who I am, what I am, what I like, what I identify with, etc. Um, I was born into a Mormon family, um, with a Catholic stepdad. But he never, he never went to church. We went with him on occasions to funerals and weddings. People in his family were held at Catholic churches. And quite frankly, um, it wasn't for me. Uh, I'll just put it that way. But I had, I have never felt such fear walking into every single church, chapel, whatever you call it. Um, I didn't like it at all. Um, but growing up LDS, I didn't like that either. Um, so around 1999, I'm still kind of searching and searching. We got a computer in my family, my three daughters and I, and I started learning how to use it. And I looked up religions of the world and it was Wicca. And I started looking at that and reading about it. And I thought, oh, that's for me. That feels exactly like me. And I started looking into other Wiccan uh, websites, Witchbox, VOX, um, etc. And just looking up. And the more I looked into it, the more it felt more like me. I'm also indigenous. So my indigenous part of me um, blends with that very well. I hope that answered your question. Have a great day. Good morning. Continued coffee with a witch. When our spirit comes down to us, um, I think it's when we're released from the body of our mothers and um, then we we uh, obtain this spirit that's that we are we are a spirit we don't just have a spirit it's hard not to say well I have a spirit I have spirit spirit no we are a spirit we're in a body 
And I, I believe, I, I firmly believe that this phenomenon could not have happened while we were in our mother's body. Because the body has one spirit. And if we were in a spirit within, so when we're released from our mother's spirit, we have this one waiting to come in and we bond. How or when or why, maybe it's when we start to cry, I don't know, but it happens, okay? Then throughout our life, it's just like, you're going to go to this church, whether you like it or not. You're going to go to school. You're going to put shoes on. You're going to put clothes on. And the spirit is just going, oh, what the heck is happening here? I don't like any of this stuff. And that's why sometimes you feel this turning like inside when you become a teenager and you're just like, I don't like this stuff. Why? Because your spirit doesn't like it. Your spirit's not happy. So it really starts to say, that's enough. We're teenagers now. We can we can deal with it. And and then when you become an adult, it just kind of like quite like, oh yeah, let's go out there and do this. Let's go and do this. Let's go and do that. All the stuff that you start doing. Okay? So after a while, even that gets kind of boring to the spirit. And it starts to settle down and it starts to say, yeah, let's, let's find our real purpose here. And it starts to guide us. But some people don't know that. One more video for this morning. Um... I was referring to the spirit kind of like playing a video game. But, um, you know how sometimes there's video games. My daughter, my granddaughter plays them, sorry. Um, she plays them and you go down one way and you get more points and you go down some other hallway and points are taken away and sooner or later game's over and you got to start over again. Um, you know how it goes, but this is more like being, sometimes it's like being in a cabin in the middle of nowhere or the forest or whatever. And you're snowed in, but you have the ability to survive for quite a while. Um, you're s sustained with food, water, and a few books and whatever. So maybe some crafts and whatever. But eventually, <laughs> that's not enough. And you're going to go kind of stir crazy cuckoo. Um, that's what it's like sometimes in our bodies for our spirit. Just kind of like, uh, hey, you, you haven't done anything for a while. You're just kind of stagnant. That's what I'm kind of going through. So I need, but I, I'm kind of like explaining, hey, um, don't get bored yet. We are going to be doing something great here. We just got to get through this process. And then there is that one. And um, it takes a bit of time. You got to communicate with your spirit and to get it to kind of calm down and just say, you know what? Okay. Like right now, I can't do any of my arts and crafts and things that I can't even think about writing in my, my book right now. But when I get into my own room, and I'll be creating my room and um, having a wonderful place to live in, then my spirit's going to get happy. And then other things will happen and my spirit will get happy. So you communicate with that spirit. 
when you can't do things. Communicate. Okay. Um, I have no disrespect for anybody's parents or my own. Um, but parents don't know what you and your spirit need to do and need to have. And so when you're a parent, you need to kind of listen to whatever your kids or teens or even adult children are telling you that they want to do. Um, you can't make somebody live a life that you want. If you're a parent and you're living your life, that's great. But you can't make your kids live how you want. Say you wanted to be an actress and you couldn't be for whatever reason. You can't make your kids be actresses or actors. Um, you have to let them find their own journey. You have to um, support them in that. Because we're all in contact, communication with our spirits. When mine led me along the way and I'm seeing images like years in, into my life I saw images of past life regressions okay and I unlocked like a whole um, incident that happened to me um, my spirit was very happy and I knew I was on the right path of being a witch because I have been before in a few different lifetimes so when you're going along this little reward the spirit gives you like if you have a, a memory you've gotten some points and you've gotten this memory because you're on the right path I don't know if that makes any sense but um, a lot of times parents want their children to do what they couldn't do or what they think is best for them but you're not in their life you're not in their body you don't have their spirit you need to just support whatever they want okay so what i'm going to be doing here from now on is going back and getting a few of my coffee with the witch and I can also record some of my fun videos along the way, too. But I thought that I would do some of my um, recent Coffee with a Witch. Um, every morning, I wake up, have my coffee, and sit here and talk a little bit about whatever I moved to talk about. So join me next time. I don't know which ones I'm going to pick, but... Um, this was mostly about spirituality. How I feel about my spirit, the spirit that I am. And so hopefully you understood what was going on. I re-recorded re each one, starting with the first one. Um, because I'm going to kind of be moving away from, from TikTok. Um, I'm going to be doing more of my videos over here. I don't like the atmosphere over there in TikTok. I've met a few friends and if they wish to follow me over in YouTube, that's fine. If not, I'm sure that... They'll understand. Anyways, thank you for being here. Like and subscribe. Share if you want to. But I'm not in this for popularity. 
that's why I'm coming back to YouTube because I'm really not, I'm really just um, kind of wasting my um, experiences talking to really not very many people. Um, three minute videos over there are flashed by, you know, scroll, scroll, scroll. You do three minute video and people are falling asleep over there. Um, people here in YouTube generally come looking for certain titles, um, and stuff like that. So it's been an interesting journey. And I have two profiles over there to go through. So it's going to take some time. But that's what I'm going to be doing. But right now, my family's finally going through a final move. And so for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing that. Thank you for being here. Happy continued holidays into 2023. Thank you.